nhproequip.com. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate for weight imbalance a PWB1530A. I have on the machine a tire that is a steel rim, it's 15 inch diameter and about 6.5 inches wide. Not about, exactly, I measured it. Uh, it's got a good tire on it and it's hit within reasonable balance. Uh, I'll show you that by just pressing start here, shutting the hood and we'll let it spin. And I realize that if your machine is out of calibration, that how can you accept these readings? Uh, in this case, I know that it's reasonably in balance. It's a quarter of an ounce out on the inside. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the calibration procedure. I've got to step away for a minute and get my calibration weight. Now, the calibration weight will come with the balancer in the box. It's going to be painted red, orange, or yellow. It's a hundred gram weight, which is also three and a half ounces. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into the calibration mode. In order to do that, on the keyboard, you have an enter key that's got a, a down and left arrow, a dog leg left, and you have a find key. Now to begin the calibration, Press and hold down the find key, press and hold down the enter key, let go of the find key and hold the enter until it says Cal 1, which you see on the screen. Now we're going to go ahead and enter that reading by hitting enter and it entered it, brought us to Cal 0. At this point we want to go to Cal 2. In order to do that, we're going to do opposite find, enter, find, we're going to do enter, find, enter. So I'm going to hit enter and find but it's a little different. When I hit enter and then I hit find, we're going to get a beep all of a sudden. The moment I get that beep, the instant, I release both keys and it puts me into Cal 2. If I hold it down, it'll jump past Cal 2 and I'll have to start over again. Remember I said earlier in the video, if you have to start over again, hit your double arrow key and hold it down, it'll clear the board and you can start again. So here we go. We're going to do this time enter, find, enter, and it's as soon as I go enter fine, I'll probably get a beep. Here we go. Enter, fine. I got a beep beep and I let it go and we have Cal 2. So now we're into both sides of the tire, both calibration modes, which is where we want to be. I'm going to hit enter to select that. Now it's telling me to add no weight. What it wants me to do is spin the machine so that it can sense the imbalance of the tire and know where ground zero is. So here we go. We're going to spin it. All right, now it's asking me to add three and a half ounces. Remember, 100 grams, three and a half ounces the same. If your unit happens to be in the metric mode, it'll say add 100, not add 3.50. So I'm going to add that 3.50, my calibration weight, to the outside like it's asking. And I need to get all five lights on so that I have the tire in the right position to put the weight at 12 o'clock. It's there. I'm going to go ahead and spin it. And what's going to happen? This is going to come up and it's going to tell me to add three and a half ounces to the inside, which I'll show you in a second. Okay. So now it's telling me add the three and a half on this side. So I simply remove the three and a half from the outside of the tire. Once I learn how to do it. <laughs> And I'm going to get all five lights on and I'm going to put the weight at 12 o'clock on the inside. Okay, shut the hood and spin it. Now it says go cal on the screen, that's normal. So we got three beeps and it said save data on the screen. So there you go. Our machine is calibrated and you're ready to balance tires. My name is Fred. I'm with NewHampshireProEquip.com here in the state of New Hampshire. 
Uh, if you need any more information, feel free to go to our website or you can find us on YouTube. Or you can call us on the phone from the website phone number. Thank you for watching. NHProEquip.com